My name is Katja Steiger. I'm a veterinary pathologist by training. My name is Atsuko Kasajima. I'm a pathologist from Japan. We started to build a kind of a very huge um, facility for comparative experimental pathology, which is doing the animal pathology part for all translational research. And uh, we are also doing the comparative part. So we are also uh, reading the slides uh, in a comparative uh, manner from the, the human disease, from the comparative human disease. During the corona pandemic, when it just started, and uh, we had to go digital somehow um, because we had the problem that we did not know what will happen, and uh, pathologists wanted or we were not sure if we might, might not get into a situation where people have to, to remotely diagnose. So we had to decide quite fast. Uh, and uh, this, my experience with Leica was always that um, if I ask, I get an, I, I, I really fast get an answer, and it was an easy process because we already had an established collaboration. I see a great uh, benefit uh, using digital pathology in the in looking at the small, sp small specimens that we receive as a consultation cases, external consultation cases that were already stained uh, for 20 different antibodies that we do not have to do it again because we can scan size and we can observe them later as well. So uh, it saves not only time and cost but also the tissues. That would be a great benefit for us and second would be to be able to look at the slides with uh, multiple uh, colleagues at the same time. We knew that also the TG450 will be robust and will be able to process, and it's smaller, <laughs> uh, and will be able to process our uh, workload we are having in the digital pathology. And one important thing is that we have this uh, professorship for computational pathology, which means that we also want to work with the raw data. We are quite satisfied, uh, so this is why we also decided to buy several other scanners uh, and also other systems, uh, lab systems from Leica. Um, especially the buying process, I would say it's it's always because it's always um, you have to discuss what you really need. Yeah, and I never had the feeling um, that Leica just wants to sell. Um, they try to they try to consult uh, uh, about the the needs and then also change. Uh, for example, if, if one of the, the um, scanners or different systems does not fit, um, you get um, a different recommendation, for example. So this was also always very um, um, collaborative.